Hello YouTube, Wes here checking in with a brand new episode of The Vinyl Survivor. This is where I talk about the albums I've been listening to recently from my inbox. I tell you what I thought of each album, let you know whether they're going to be staying in my permanent collection for good or whether they just weren't for me, I didn't like them. Let you know a little bit about what I thought about each one, so uh, sit down, take the load off, and enjoy the show. First album I have here is from 1977. This is Chicago 11. Yes, this is Chicago 11 from 1977. Uh, so getting into a late later period of Chicago, they're definitely getting a little softer on this one. But I, I just enjoy Chicago in general. I enjoy collecting their stuff and having it. It's not it's not real expensive to find. They sold millions and millions of copies, so. Uh, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoyed listening to this. I don't think there's any real big hits on here, uh, but I could be wrong. I'm, it's been a while since I did listen to it. And there's the inner sleeve. And I did find this one sealed, so this one I, I got to open it up myself and uh, experience it for the first time, which was fun. Um, yeah, here's a, there is the label. So yeah, that's Chicago 11. I enjoyed it. As I said, I, I collect Chicago, so I'm going to be keeping this one in the collection. All right, next up, we got a uh, compilation by the Bee Gees. This is titled Bee Gees Gold. So you just got some classic Bee Gees stuff, although this is pre-disco era kind of Bee Gees, getting slightly getting starting to get into the disco era era of stuff but uh, a nice little compilation of theirs i really did enjoy this one quite a bit uh, this one has holiday on on there which is uh, one of my favorite bg's tracks um, how can you mend a broken heart uh, yeah pretty pretty uh, nice little compilation here and insert with some photos on it or an inner original inner sleeve with photos on it it's on the RSO label, which was nice. Uh, so yeah, just a nice compilation of early Bee Gees stuff. And uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. And I'm going to be keeping it for now, at least until I get, I get a full collection of Bee Gees uh, original albums. And I don't need this anymore. But for now, this is a nice little compilation. All right, next up, I guess, I don't know to, whether to call this punk or hardcore. It's... It's, it, they kind of mix in with each other at times, I guess. Uh, but this is The Instigators, live in Berlin. Um, it's, yeah, it's a pretty poor recording at that. And it just wasn't for me. I, I normally don't listen to this kind of music anyway. Oh, this was a cheap find, and I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, definitely not something for me. Uh, yeah, very very thrashy and punky, and uh, it sounds almost like an audience recording. Uh, one neat thing is it's on this uh, lavender marbled vinyl, which is really pretty. Uh, I do I do like the vinyl quite a bit. I wish it I wish it sounded better, and I wish the the music was more up to my uh, up to my liking. But unfortunately, it just wasn't something that was for me. So uh, the instigators live in Berlin. I'm not going to be keeping that one. Uh, in the collection. All right, next up, a piece of electronic music by uh, Dieter Schutz. This is titled Voyage from 1985. So kind of late getting into that uh, new age electronic music kind of feel there, uh, but really enjoyable and dreamy and ethereal, ethereal and uh, yeah, really, I dug this quite a bit on the Lifestyle Records label. Dieter shoots with Voyage. I, li I liked it, and it's going to be staying in my collection. All right, next up, another piece of electronic music. This one's from the 70s, I believe. 1976 is the year on this one. This is the album from Synergy titled Sequencer. Uh, definitely a classic of theirs. Really good, uh, you know, mid-70s electronica here. Really, really, you know, again, Kind of spacey and ambient and really really cool sounding um, progressive at times nice photos of the synths in there really nice copy of this and this is also a first pressing so whenever you get a first pressing of a synergy record 
it is going to be on clear vinyl, which is really, really cool, particularly being from you know the 70s when there wasn't a whole lot of clear vinyl or a whole lot of you know, anything other than black vinyl being made. So yeah, anytime you find a first pressing of a Synergy record, it'll be on clear vinyl. So it's it's always fun to keep an eye out for those. So whenever I see a Synergy record in the wild, I'm, I'm, wild, I'm always looking to see if it's a first pressing. Um, but yeah, again, as I said, it's, it's early, you know, mid seventies electronica and, uh, really, really enjoyable and relaxing and, and takes you on a really nice trip. So, uh, that's going to be definitely staying in my collection. Really glad to have that. All right. Next one was a really, really cool. Listen, this was a compilation called the sinkhole tapes. And this was a compilation on Hide and Zeke Records, and Hide and Zeke was a record store here in Gainesville that started, I believe, in the late 60s and ran until up until about 2012 or so, 2013. Uh, the owner passed away really unexpectedly. Um, so yeah, that was that was really sad, but it was a really good record store. It had a lot of locations, you know, around town, and it has a really long and storied history. Uh, but this is a compilation they did back in the, I guess this is the early 80s when they did this, of just some local Gainesville musicians from the time. And it's it's sort of got a cool sound to it. It's got some new wave kind of sounding things. It's got some uh, more like just blues rock kind of stuff. It's got a little bit of a, more of a hard rock kind of sound as well. Uh, yeah, really, really dug, dug listening to this and digging back into the history of, you know, was at the time this came out, I would have been, you know, five years old or so, and I really wouldn't have known <laughs> what, what was going on in local music. So it's cool to hear this sort of time capsule of local music from the time, and it was a really, really uh, enjoyable time to spend on this. I don't know, maybe I should try to upload some of these songs. I don't think there'll be any kind of copyright issues with them. I don't I don't know. I can try, I guess. Uh, but there's the there is the label on uh Hide and Zeke Records. Just a white label. It's the sinkhole tapes compilation of local music from my town from the early 80s. So really cool compilation and uh, definitely want to keep this in my collection. All right, moving on, more and more electronica here. This one is another one from the uh, mid 80s. It's, this is uh, Christian Schultz, Klaus Schultz's brother, I guess, uh, title Metronomics. And again, on Lifestyle Records, just sort of that, that new age electronic ambient kind of music. Uh, really cool, really enjoyable, I dug it. Just fun, fun to sort of put on and take a trip with. There's the label on that one, Lifestyle Records again, Metronomics by Christian Schultz. This is staying in the collection, definitely enjoyed it. All right, next up, how about some hip hop? We have uh, definitely a favorite of mine from 2016, I think this was. Yes, 2016, this is Lush Life and Casual Sex. It's spelled C-S-L-S-X and with their album Ritualize. Ah, just killer, killer album. Definitely dug this one. As I said, it's 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 trippy hip hop. Really great lyrics. Uh, uh, really stripped down, kind of electronic in in the music mu musical portions. Uh, yeah, just really, really dug this album. I dig the artwork as well. Really cool. Really cool graphic style there. I like that quite a bit. But, uh, very. Very minimal insert, inner sleeve, original inner sleeve there. And then this is on black vinyl. There's that. I would have loved to have seen this on the vinyl that matched the cover better. That would have been really cool, either multicolored or just pick one of the colors from the cover. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome, awesome album. So yeah, definitely a thumbs up for me. And uh, if you're into hip hop and you haven't heard this before, I definitely suggest uh, checking it out. It's really, really good. All right, next up, moving on to some 80s sort of synth poppy, I guess would be the best way to put this. Uh, this is Baltimorea with a living in the background. And this one has Tarzan Boy on it. 
classic one of theirs. It's on the Manhattan Records label. Uh, so yeah, Baltimoria living in the background. Definitely dig this kind of 80s pop, synth pop kind of stuff. So this one's definitely a keeper for me being the classic with uh, Tarzan Boy. Uh, it's, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really get any better than that. So if you're looking for like a deep cut or something on here, you're, it's not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a classic of the 80s. So gotta keep it for that reason. All right, and then last up for this episode, and then I'll let you go, we have Jim Brock with Pasajes. I think is the how you how you pronounce meant to pronounce the title of this um this is straight ahead new age music i uh, i was hoping maybe it'll be a little electronics in there but it's pretty much straight ahead sort of new agey kind of stuff and i really just didn't didn't feel it you know didn't didn't vibe with it at all so unfortunately i didn't like this one but yeah it's it's sometimes fun just to try these and give them a try but i did not like it and this is on the Embira Records label. Oh, a label I hadn't, hadn't heard of before. Somewhat of a private press kind of thing. Um, out of Charlotte, North Carolina. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, Jim Brock Pasajes, another one. Unfortunately, it wasn't for me. Didn't like it, and it's not going to be staying around. So. Uh, that's the end of this episode. Eight of them are going to be going in the collection back there. Two of them didn't make it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching. Leave me some comments down below if you have any questions, whatever it may be. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, a great night, whenever it is. Remember, there is no bad music, only music you don't like. We'll see you again real soon. Cheers.